Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another day at BS for Build. In today's episode, we're gonna be mainly focused on the exhaust, and the secondary thing that I'm gonna be working on is the cooling system and the power steering system, trying to close those loops, get all the lines run, that way we can fill them with fluids, and that will allow our engine to run for a long period of time. That's the game plan, stay tuned. First thing I'm gonna get focused on is documenting what we need for our coolant line. So uh, we have a T that goes from here back in the engine, then this T needs to come up to here around and back to our reservoir. So that needs to be all documented and laid out so I can figure out how much tubing I need. Then uh, the hard part is gonna be getting the right radiator hoses. And these are, it's a custom job, so we're gonna, I mean, we're either gonna have to make custom hoses or we're gonna get look really lucky when we're shopping. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take each hose and document how much longer of a shot we need. Like for instance, this one's like that much further to get to the radiator. The bottom ones are much, much further. And those ones have to run around the uh, the oil filter housing so that's gonna be even more of a pain uh, so I'm gonna document all that that way when I take it down to the auto parts store and I start shopping we'll have some uh, something to reference Okay, got that documented, um, and I'm gonna document this right now. We're gonna need a miracle to get all those hoses today. I don't think it's gonna be possible, but I'm going to try. Next thing I gotta do, that's power steering line. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out our new, no, I'm gonna use the old dinged up power steering cooler. We're gonna mock fit it in here, see where that goes, and see where the power steering reservoir goes, how it runs into that line, and how it runs into the cooler, and see what power steering lines we need. All right, I took all my measurements, got everything cataloged. I'm ready to go shopping, wish me luck. Good news, I got a bunch of cooling lines, a bunch of hose clamps, a bunch of random stuff, absolutely all the auxiliary lines that we need, and I think I got hoses that are gonna work. That's a lot of hose. We're gonna add like a whole gallon of hose-filled water coolant to the system. So my next thing that I'm gonna do is um, start popping these off and salvaging these clips and seeing, making sure that we can fit all that hose on all of these clips, make sure that all works. And Eric is gonna start building our X-pipe. So building an X-pipe is pretty simple. You cut a chunk off of each side of one of these things and then you weld them together. So if it was overlapped, imagine if it was overlapped a little bit like that. It's kinda how it's gonna happen. So he's gonna cut, he's gonna shave a side off of each side of that and then weld it all up. Big success on the cooling lines. They all fit. Um, some of them that are small, it's a pretty extreme fit. You can see how hard it is to get that around there. Uh, and once I do that, I can't slide this around in here to change the orientation. And these have channels in them, so they only go on the car one way. So I'm gonna have to do a lot of back and forth. I'm gonna grab one line at a time, go over to the car, figure out the orientation, fit it, clamp it, and then maybe even connect it up to the radiator and then come back and go for the next one. While I'm doing that, Eric has finished cutting. He's gonna clean those up and weld them up. X pipe is done. Very, very pretty looking. And now we're gonna go ahead and move back into the car and look where we're gonna put our flex joints up against our exhaust manifolds and then how we're gonna connect from there to the X pipe. Oh, and so far the uh, coolant lines are going great. I got one done. Where did it go? It's right there. And uh, I'm close to getting a second one done.
All right, status update. I got my second hose done. Woo! Okay, yeah, these hoses are hard. They're taking a while. It's, but whatever. No kinks, no problems, just hoses. So that's good. Second hose is done. Eric's doing a great job of getting the exhaust. So you can see it goes from the exhaust manifold to our flex piece, to our join piece. And then it's bending and it's gonna meet up for our X pipe before it heads out the back. And uh, Eric's about to uh, do the uh, tack welding to the exhaust manifold right now. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Yep. Yep, that's about to happen. Enjoy. Update time. I've got three hoses on now, and I'm, I'm getting close to the fourth. I'm really not sure if that hose is gonna work out, but we, we gotta make it work out. Anyways, on to the exciting stuff. Eric has got it tack welded up now through and then into the X pipe. So the next step is that we're gonna go ahead and um, get back into the recessed area that the you know, rear subframe has built there for the exhaust to go through. And our resonators are gonna to need to go through there uh, because there was nowhere else to put them. So it's gonna go from that, curve around, resonators back to there, and then we'll do a connection up to our mufflers, which will come out through here. We might not even be able to put the mufflers on today. I mean, we'll try, but um, the mufflers are kind of supposed to sit right around here where the car hasn't been cut up yet. We'll figure it out. Maybe we cut the car up today. Just got the fourth radiator hose installed, so they're actually all installed now, clipped in, fully installed and everything. We made it work out. It looks pretty cool. It looks a little like tentacle-y, kind of all running down like that. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's good. We still got room for our oil filter uh, to be mounted around there. So that's great. Um, now the next thing is, is there's a couple lines. There's this line and this line that uh, this one goes to this and then this needs to wrap around and they both end up in the reservoir and then the reservoir plugs in there. Then they got a plug right here that needs to run using this piece of tubing that runs down and around and into the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all of those things. Um, and Eric is working away right now on getting our um, resonators mounted up. You can see that he's got the uh, 45's welded onto him. He's gonna weld those up to the X-pipe and mount those going out the back. All right, Eric just wrapped up with the exhaust. I'm gonna say like finished the exhaust because uh, it's only tack welded in here right now. Uh, he, he didn't have time to fully weld it and we don't have the mufflers. But let me just show you what we're doing here. So you got the exhaust manifold running down to our flex pipe, to our join, then we go up to our, our X pipe and then you can see the resonators shooting back through there. It looks fantastic. It was a very tough job to do because remember our engine isn't actually symmetrical but the exhaust looks very symmetrical um, through the car and then coming out to our resonators here. Um, now, why we didn't go ahead and cut the rear bumper and install the muffler is we were going back on a few different things. We were going back and forth on muffler, we were going back and forth on resonators, and we were also going back and forth on cutting this. So we were gonna, the, the design idea was to cut this for the rear diffuser, but you can see with this car pretty much sat almost on the ground, how high up the rear bumper is. So we may wanna build the, uh, the rear diffuser kind of from here down rather than cut up into this, like take another you know five inches off and then build down because it's gonna make the car look like the back is sitting higher up, which we want it to look like it's sitting lower down. Other reason that we did this was because we wanna figure out how loud this thing is gonna be. 
Um, we looked online at videos of straight piped M5s, but we're not sure if that means that it's, you know, they still have the upfront cats, they have the secondary cats, and they have a resonators in there, and then they just deleted their muffler and went straight out the back. You know, that's not really a straight piped car. And then I've seen other videos of cars that are saying they have exhaust cutouts or straight pipes, and then it sounds like absolute chaos loud where you're barely going 10 miles an hour and it sounds like all hell is breaking loose. I don't want that version where you're gonna wake up the neighbors just by going 15 miles an hour. I really don't wanna do that. Um, but I do want it to have like, you know, true the true to the engine sound. So we're trying to find that happy balance between a car that I'm not gonna be embarrassed to drive because it's that loud, uh, TJ Hunt, and then, <laughs> but you know, something that's like also loud and sounds good and, and, and like lets the engine really sound like the way that the engine is supposed to. So because of that, we're gonna wait till we can actually start the car and run it for a little bit longer. Um, and that means I gotta keep going here on my coolant line. So I'm gonna go ahead and I've pulled up these plastics here. I'm gonna finish uh, pulling this uh, banjo bolt off, rerun this line right here that'll go into there and then I'm gonna run the rest of them. Well, bummer the time lapse cut out about 30 minutes into working, but I got all of the cooling system completely done. So uh, there's a banjo bolt down there that runs along to this T system that um, also connects up to a couple of the spots on the radiator. Then that runs and uh, goes along the side here and up to our reservoir. And then there's this uh, banjo bolt here and this is running down. I haven't pinned this stuff down yet. This is gonna go right here on this bracket that's gonna go up against this hose right here. And then it comes out and goes to the reservoirs there as well. And then you have the two big main lines that come off the front of the block. And um, this one, uh, the, the, the higher one goes to the bottom of the reservoir. The lower one runs along the side of the car and that's why it goes into hard line. It's because it gets close to the, uh, to the exhaust manifold. And then it comes, snakes back around and goes up to the back of the engine. Uh, if all my research is correct, that should basically delete the uh, heater core. And that's it, that's the cooling system done. I'm really, really excited that we made that work today. All right, that is a wrap for today. On the day that you guys are watching this, it's Eric's birthday, so happy birthday, Eric. Let's see some nice comments in the comment section. And uh, Eric, I hope you're having fun today. I will, be, I will be here working on this. But we are getting much, much closer. Closed loop cooling system, the power steering system is so simple, it's just a couple rubber hoses. I'll have that busted out early tomorrow. And guess what we're gonna do tomorrow? We're gonna turn the car on, we're gonna rev it up, and we're gonna test the exhaust volume. So please make sure to tune in for that. And thank you so much for watching this. If you wanna help out and support the channel, head over to bsforbuild.com. We have merch in stock. We got key tags, we got decals, we got shirts. We have hats on the way. Hats are coming. China's working as hard as they can to make all those babies. Um, and uh, that's a great way to support. If not, if you want to play a free video game, go to ds4drift.com, download our game, play that. That's it, guys. Thanks so much. Please remember to like and subscribe. More importantly, subscribe. Okay. All right. Bye. Peace!